How you doing guys? Episode 2 for this evening. Um, all the issues that I just spoke about in the prior video this evening um, have been rectified and fixed. So I have no issues whatsoever with all that. Um, but as you can tell, things are even more torn apart. And the reason for that was twofold. One, the China ignition switch that I bought um, right there, uh, it stripped out, broke, whatever. I, I have no idea. It just, it just totally uh, went south on me. So I needed to get a new ignition switch. I ordered one. The one that you see right there um, is the replacement, but as you can tell, it hasn't been wired up. Also, while I was perusing online, I found something that I, I just had to have, um, and that is <laughs> this old Autometer Junior Dragster tachometer. Now, we're never going to see 10,000 RPM, but it is a mag magneto-style fired uh, tack. So, with that, I had to buy it. It's a little beat up. It's got some. It's got some pretty good crashes in the outer, outer ring, but it works, and it wasn't. It wasn't that expensive, um, comparative to nice ones online, because the auto meter doesn't make that tack anymore. So, in order to install it, one, I had to tear apart all the wiring, as you can tell, from the box throughout the entire dash. Um, so I've, I've had to do some rewiring, but the way I installed it was, I think, fairly clean. I just used the two, the two mounting points for the manual PTO that this tractor would typically have or would have had. Um, I just took a piece of band iron, uh, cut it to fit, drilled some holes, and then I just drilled some, you can't really see it, but some quarter 20 uh, holes in there for the bolts to mount the bracket. It's just a piece of quarter inch thick. Uh, band iron, put some blue Loctite on these bolts to hold the bracket. The tack itself has a mounting ring with a piece of rubber. It's dead nut solid. Um, you can see that I had to re I re the wire up and then it actually kind of goes up through the area where the choke cable is going to go. So if we come back up here, you can see this is where the wiring is right here. And the tack is pretty simple. You have um, Black is your ground, so this is going to go to the grounding block. The green wire is the signal wire that will be connected to the kill switch. That's the ground wire, sorry. The kill switch is the magneto kill switch. Um, this will get pigtailed into that so it, it receives a low, uh, low voltage signal. White is for the light for the tack, and red is the overall... Um, 12 volt source for the tack itself. Now I've ran, I've made all the connections that I want. The light for the tack is going to run off the switch for the lights in general. So when I flip the switch here uh, on the dash, this one right here, the little LED blue light will come on telling me that the lights are on. Obviously I have a set of LEDs underneath the fender, the red, those will come on. The red LEDs in the headlights will come on and the regular uh, bulb will come on in the tack. So that's how that's going to work. The power source for the tack, the 12 volt power source is going to come from the fuse panel. Um, I am going to use, I'll probably use this port right here and run the wire, the red wire, the hot wire through the, the fuse panel. Uh, I obviously I took all the sheath off the wiring harness. I'm going to add that wire into the harness up and through and it'll come up through here and then connect to the red wire right there. According to the directions I saw online, the tack takes a 1 amp fuse, so I'll have to go to the I'll have to go to the parts store and get a 1 amp fuse for the for the fuse panel. So there it is. So that's it. And that should be the last thing. We should be all set and done. I might, I just have to add a couple decals to the tractor, but at that point, it should be completely finished, ready to rock and roll. My buddy's meet and greet in New Milford, Connecticut is coming up into, not this weekend, but next weekend, the weekend of the 20th. So hopefully the weather will hold out. 
this tractor will make its debut, <laughs> if you want to call it a debut, uh, but it's going to make it to, I'm hoping that's the first showing is going to be there. All right, guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you one of the I think I told, I don't know if I told you. If I told you and you start to say, hey, you already talked about this, then you can, uh, you can just skip it. But these are the original spindles to the 1056. And you can s s notice where this mounting plate is, um, where the cast iron axle sits. Um, I went to a tractor show a couple days ago or last weekend, and I picked my, I found a set of these, um, uh, spindles and what I did was I lowered them an inch and the way I did that was let me put this thing right here so you can see all right there you go I cut this off and lowered it down as far as it can go and as you can see it's right on the bend so I lowered that down rewelded it on then I measured the distance from here to here I lopped it I lopped the top of it off to shorten it down, and then I just re-welded this section of the spindle so I could still use the original E-clip. So when you look at the tractor in general, it's only a one-inch rake, so it's not, it's not super aggressive. Um, and the way I did it, I think you could almost pass it off as original, and most people wouldn't even know that the spindles had been messed with. Um, once I get it out of the garage and into the driveway, you can actually kind of see the rake, which is kind of cool because with the 24 inch tires, those are two, theoretically, two, one and a half, two inches taller than the original tires. And the one inch drop in the front, there is about a two, two inch rake uh, between the front and back. So it really does have a little more of that aggressive look. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging in there. Thank you very much for all your interest. Thank you for your questions and comments. I truly appreciate all of it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up as it does put it, um, I guess it puts it at a more higher level uh, in the listing. So if somebody looks up wheel horse, tractor, my videos will kind of be towards the top. I'm not looking to be a superstar, just looking to just get a little little more interest in the channel. So if you would do that, that would be greatly appreciated. I truly appreciate it. And you guys have a great night.